Hey guys, it's Mike Lowe from Miniature Painting. Today we are going to paint a ghoul from Mantic in the most easy way possibly thinkable. The only thing you need to do to have a tabletop ready base is a white undercoated ghoul, of course. Like these. These ghouls are awesome, by the way. Uh, to create something like this. And it is ever so easy. No need to do skin because the skin will do itself. That's pretty cool. So how are we going to achieve that? Um, the only thing I'm actually going to do is paint the um, clothing with some leather brown. After that, I'm going to dry brush it with leather brown. Um, and in between there is a wash called, it used to be on this pot, Agrax Earthshade. And yes, I really need a new pot. So if anyone is willing to sponsor me, let it go. Um, the only problem with this is, is that you need uh, at least three colors to have it a tabletop ready base. So I found something out. Uh, let's do the eyes bloody red. <laughs> That's about it, the only thing. So let's start painting. This truly is one of the easiest models around, guys. So we, um, yeah, I got a new palette since the last time we spoke. And let's start with the brown. Just give it a good coverage on all the places where you should and where there are some clothing, where there is some clothing. So nobody wants to see me paint only clothing because that will really take, well, it still takes a bit of time, but now you know what I should do. So let's see, um, see you back when it's finished. And then when you have finished with uh, painting the, um, what was it, leather brown, you end up with something like this. Still not one of the nicest models, you think? But here comes the magic. Put in some Agrax Earthshade. Get yourself a trusty what is it? wash brush. Dip it in them paints. There you go. Fill it really good and give it some royal washing. And immediately you see what a wash can do. The only thing you need to take care of is that it doesn't pull on the head. That's about the only thing you need to be cared, care of. Take, you need to take care of. And of course, keep the paint moving, so that it only pulls on the uh, on the clothing. You only need to tint the white, nothing more. And while you're watching this, don't forget to click the subscribe button, because I can really need uh, a lot more subscribers. I'm doing this for you guys. And I hope you do this for me as well. If it's still pulling somewhere, just dip it off, like here, just let it suck back in. There you go guys. Oh, see some white. This isn't one of the coolest models or nicest painted models, but this one was a tabletop standard. And I think if we let it dry and then afterwards we uh, dry brush it, of course you can use some more colors now that I see. There's the metal pins here. Uh, there's one right here. You can make that 
uh, bolt gun metal. When you do that, when you have some uh, some of that nylex oxide, you can just wash it over and then dry brush it with a bronze. For now, this is almost painted. Another tip for you guys, that's for subscribing. If you look at the base, if you go to a kid's playground and you um, just take a big bunch, just a big box or something of sand, smack it in the oven for a couple of minutes so that it's really hot and dry. Then you filter out all the, uh, the moist, then you will have the best basing material ever. You can make it as big as possible, as small as possible, you can do everything what you like with it. So, let's wait until this dries, and then we're off to the uh, the rest. See you soon again. And we're back again. Now that the uh, wash is dried, let's take a look at that. Pretty cool, huh? So what we're going to do now is get our leather brown again. Give it a good shake. Oh, yeah. we still got some. We take a medium sized base, uh, dry brush. We dip it in. Well, you know how to dry brush. And then when you're almost done, focus, just start dry brushing the model. And once again, you can go as far as you like with this. Um, what I did with my models is just a tiny bit of bone white in it. As you can see right now, it's already starting to get real cool. And this is really easy, guys. You know how to dry brush. Don't overdo it. As you can see right here. And as you can see right there, that's basically done. Pretty cool, huh? Now it looks good on tabletop, so like I said, what you can do, you can mix the brown with some uh, bone white. But basically here's your tabletop model, now just for the eyes. So like I said before, what we are going to use, that's my voice when I'm shaking a pot, a pot. Get some bloody red. And the cool thing about this is, I did this after the wash. Because then you can see the, um, the thoroughness of the eyes. A little bit tiny, tiny weeny. Yeah, there you go. Have a tiny weeny pinch of red. Let's see if I can fix it right here, like this freehand. too much of course I missed the spot I'm not good at eyes but I didn't miss this one no, it still looks good there you go and here is your Miniature in three paints. The only thing you should do is undercoat with white, and that's about it. If you like this video, do please subscribe. Oh, let me wash my brushes. Do please subscribe, uh, like the video, share the video if you like to have some easy tutorials more. And there will be some more tutorials uh, when I finally get my uh, camera. And thank you very much. May the dice be forever in your favor and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.